my son keeps grabbing fists of air and screaming, mine. My daughter is crying saying, TJ is stealing my air. They're in my bedroom on a Saturday morning. <laughs> well, you better get them in check and let them know that's your air because they're in your bedroom. <laughs> What's going on, Modern Trail? It's your boy, Long Neil, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the hot posts from r slash kids are stupid. Let's get into it. Wife and I went out one night and came home to my son sleeping like this. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Uh, uh, Fiona. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a mommy, a daddy of the house. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a mommy, a baker. I want to be a police officer, a pilot, a doctor to make everyone feel better. A taco. <laughs> Really? Because when I grow up, I want to be famous. I want to be a star. I want to be in the movies. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was so lame. Don't click off the video yet. <laughs> Me. What you doing, Kieran? Kieran. Just chilling. That's what he always says when you ask him what he's doing. Now, here's where I say something I just happen to have never said to him before. I casually reply, chilling like a villain. Kieran's eyes widen. His mouth drops open. He goes from perfectly content mood to completely offended and yells with tears in his eyes, no, mommy, I'm not a villain. I'm Kieran. I'm a hero. Wow. How dare I? Then I had to console him and had to promise him I'd never say that again. Kids are so weird. <laughs> uh, ain't that the truth, man? You could say anything and it'll offend a kid. I used to think that priceless meant it had no worth. So when a TV show said priceless jewelry, I always thought it was cheap plastic crap from China. <laughs> uh, for the most part, you're not wrong. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was very pacifistic and therefore tried to save every animal if possible, including insects. My older brother, however, was not like that and didn't want me to be like that for whatever reason. So he made me believe that if you catch flies, rip out their wings and let them crawl into the wilderness, they'll become bugs. <laughs> oh, your brother is messed up. Uh, since I had no idea where bugs come from, it made sense to me. It haunted me for years when I found out I basically tortured and left flies to die when I was trying to populate the earth with bugs. Uh, okay, so your brother is an a-hole, but how did you manage to catch so many flies? Like what? I took my six-year-old autistic cousin to the doctor this week. While waiting at the reception, my mother took him to the bathroom. Suddenly, me and everyone in there heard him shouting from the inside, if you cut your penis, it becomes a vagina. <laughs> I died of shame, but we laughed a lot. He is very pure. I mean, he's not wrong, is he? <laughs> Yesterday morning, after his soccer game, my six-year-old asked me how come the other team gets to change the color of their jerseys every week while we always have to wear purple. When I explained that, in fact, we were playing against different teams each week, his mind was blown. <laughs> oh, well, I think we just found the dullest tool in the shed with this one. <laughs> My three-year-old told us he was fighting a blue dragon with his silver sword, which was super cute until we realized that the sword was a screwdriver and the dragon was our car. <laughs> uh, it's okay. We used to have Pinewood Derby races and me and my brother had spray painted our cars. And then when my dad left, my brother had the bright idea to spray paint daddy's car to look like ours. Uh, easy to say my dad was not too happy about that. There was a spring in second grade where every single recess I would walk out to the most remote part of the playground, die dramatically, and lie motionless for the entire 20 minutes. I was trying to trick a turkey vulture into coming down to eat me so I could grab it as a pet. <laughs> uh, typical goth chick. <laughs> my three-year-old calls Flonase mommy's special nose medicine, and now my neighbor thinks I do cocaine. Oh, uh, that's smart of this mom convince her three-year-old that cocaine is actually called Flonase. That way she'll never get caught. <laughs> Welcome home, mommy. I love New York. <laughs> what? How does this kid even know about that? Like, how old were they? And do you guys notice that there's people jumping out of the buildings? Like, holy crap, that's morbid. <laughs> What's your darkest secret? When I was very little, probably around three or four, I used to play a game with my parents where I'd go to the bathroom and brush my teeth before bed. And when I got to my room, they'd pretend to be asleep and I'd find creative ways to wake them up. Being so young, I thought my dad was superhero style indestructible. <laughs> this isn't going to be good, but I'm curious. And in thinking so, I decided to try something that would hurt a kid like me 
but wouldn't harm him at all since he was big. <laughs> I found a pencil lying on the desk and tried to stab him in the eye with it. Luckily, he was peeking and stopped me just before I did. To this day, it gives me a sinking feeling in my stomach thinking about what might have happened. <laughs> Uh, you know, getting stabbed in the eye, honestly, isn't that bad. One of my buddies had it happen, and he sees totally fine now. Uh, except he did it because he stabbed a tree with a knife, pulled the knife out, and whoops, knife in the eye. Don't laugh, but when I was little and it was pouring outside, I thought that God and Satan were fighting, so I used to get my belt and hit the ground so I could help the Lord out. Uh, that's okay. I used to think when it was raining, it was angels crying, and when I heard thunder, it was angels getting a strike. When I was a kid, like six years old, I thought that the reason actors got paid so much was because every time you wanted to watch a movie, they'd have to act it out and stream it to you. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I can admit when I was six, I thought that they had to memorize the whole entire movie start to finish. And if they messed up, they got fired. <laughs> LMFAO, I'm trying to clean upstairs and the kids are playing in our room. And my daughter, who's four, is like, let's play a game. I'll be this doll. And my son, who's seven, is like, I'm just going to be a sewer pipe so I don't have to get off the floor. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for the hot post from r slash kids are stupid. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And let me know in the comments down below if there's any other subreddits you want me to cover. Till next time, peace.